Yeah, that's well, my first question was where are you now and uh, who got the idea to define for every square meter on this earth just with three words? Sure. So I'm uh, Chris Sheldrick, co-founder and CEO of What Three Words, sitting here at Index Home Raft. Um, and the idea came from me and a mathematician friend of mine um, that we could make a far simpler system than GPS coordinates um, and use combinations of words instead. And so we had that idea five years ago. Yeah. So I just checked my, my destination, but I forgot already. But uh, as you can mention, I checked some other destinations yeah. around the world, and uh, I find I found some nice place anywhere in Illinois, close to the to the Ford company. It's called uh, uh, Here Comes the Hero, or the Here Comes Hero. So this kind of um, places might be some hot spots in the future. Um. That's possible, but I think that really for us, the emphasis is about every three meters square in the world having an address. The words are not meant to have meaning. In fact, really, it's better if the words are, are neutral because this is more about the utility of there being a three word address rather than any particular meaning of the three word address. Yeah, so how, how can you avoid some strange word combinations? Is it a, uh, a, a mechanism or did you already uh, cancel some words? Yes, so what happens is when we make a new language version, we review all of the words in that language and we decide which words we're going to include and which words we're not going to include. And they can be because some words are potentially um, offensive or problematic in some way and also yeah. some words for language reason. So uh, let's say in English the word here you can spell H-E-R-E -E or H-E-A-R. Um, we remove these words called homophones just to make it easier um, and avoid any confusion. Yeah, and do you have enough words for using every trillion square meters on the earth? Yes, we do, because there, if you divide the world, so the surface area of the world's around 510 million square kilometers. Um, if you divide that into nine meter square segments, you've got about 57 trillion nine meter square segments, so three by three squares. And if you actually cube root that, you get to a number um, around 38,000. So if you take a 38,000 list, uh, word list, then that's how many words you need. But of course, two thirds of the world is actually in the ocean. So you don't actually need all 38,000 um, or so words to cover the land on Earth. You only need 25,000 words. So, and then we go a step further, which is we say like in the German version, well, let's put the easier German words in Germany. And let's say put the harder German words in maybe a forest in the north of Russia. So actually, it's a good experience for people. And you don't need that many words to be able to provide them good three word addresses in the places they're most likely to be. Sure. So um, we, what three words is a two-dimensional system. So what we want to do is get people to the entrance of that particular building, and then they can always specify it's the third floor at word word word. So um, we don't actually do a, a three-dimensional um, product because, for one thing, indoor navigation, indoor mapping, indoor GPS positioning is actually not that well developed yet. So we really just want to help people get to the exact entrance of that particular building. Um, it's something that we might explore in the future, but because these technologies are so far away from being fully developed, it's not an immediate plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you also have a corporation uh, that started with, with Mercedes-Benz? Yes. So, um, Mercedes-Benz have integrated what three words into their 2018 um, vehicles for, for certain classes. What that means is that you'll be able to get into the car, speak a three-word address, so say navigate, navigate to index home raft, 
the Mercedes will then understand where that destination is and navigate you straight to that three meter square. Um, yes, so we work with Mercedes existing voice recognition system that actually understands the speech from the driver um, and then once we get the output from that we then decide what three word address the driver intended to say. So what three words, the, the app is free for anybody to use anywhere in the world. Um, and that's how consumers can access it. We charge businesses who want to have a piece of code from us which converts the three word address into the latitude and longitude. So for businesses who want to accept three word addresses into their system, that's how we charge for people like Mercedes and many others. So it's not possible to change any three word addresses in the world. The system is fixed. We've pre-assigned three word addresses for every three meter square, so you can't change them. In reality, okay. um, given the size of many buildings, there may be maybe one, two, even three or four three meter squares that could all be used and actually in reality will get somebody to the right entrance. So I think there's probably a little bit of flexibility there in reality, depending on the size of the building in question. But we would really encourage people not to think about the meaning of the words, but really just concentrate on the fact that there are three words there which are very easy to use. Yeah, I think what three words is, is absolutely key for autonomous driving because we're moving now into a world where street addresses are just too big. If you're going to direct a car which has got no steering wheel and no pedals, you're going to need to be far more precise about exactly where you want that car to go. I mean, for example, is it the front entrance or the back entrance? If you're just effectively getting into this vehicle that will just take you there, you need to be very, very precise. So we're all going to have to change our minds to much more of a latitude and longitude based world. And that's incredibly complicated to use. So we want to make it easy for people to use with three English words, three German words, or in any of our supported languages. So we're working to expand the What3Words ecosystem. We want to be available in more cars, more platforms, more websites, more services, more apps that you, so that you can put in a, a three-word address into anything that you would do in your daily life. Um, that's really what we're focused on to grow the business. We're in talks with all of the big worldwide mapping and navigation providers um, to get what three words recognized as a standard across these businesses. That's okay. Okay, well thank you very much Andreas, that was a pleasure.